All right, so the Angels get a big win over the Texas Rangers. That was our showcase game to, uh, last night. They'll continue that series tonight. You know, D-Row, the, the Angels are already trying to implement their draft prospects. Yeah. Uh, Zach Neto was in the it was in last year's draft. They got the Ben Joyce kid. So they're trying to infuse this lineup with youth at various parts of it. I think they're throwing everything at it, right? Otani's potential last year, if they don't re-sign him, they're trying to throw everything at this. Perry Menagian, their GM. David Fletcher was like an angel for a while. Probably had a Big time voice in that clubhouse. And when they sent him down and brought Zach Neto up, a guy they drafted last year out of Campbell University, that had to send some ripple effects through that clubhouse. Some people, even in this building, called it a potential panic move. But they had something special on their hands. Before we dive into this, he was in college last year at Campbell University. Team USA, during the WBC, we had two exhibition games. We played the Giants and we played the Angels. And we had to ask for extra players because guys weren't ready to go nine innings yet. And when I asked for the Angels, I said, hey, can we get a shortstop? Phil Nevin, my buddy, manager of the Angels, said, hey, I'm sending you Zach Neto. When he came over into the dugout, you imagine walking into a dugout with the greatest position players in the world in that dugout. He looked like he had been there for 10 years. And he looked at us, and he was like, can I go shag with them? I said, yeah, go have a ball. And I walked up to him after and said, hey, you're going to go in for Tim Anderson. And he looked at me like, whatever you need, Skip. Like, you talk about being confident. I would have been a puddle coming out of the University of Pennsylvania if I walked into that locker room right there. So let's dive in. So I'm not surprised. I think they brought him up kind of like the, the uh, Guardians did back in the day with Lindor, where they knew they were getting elite defense. But can you imagine, oh. can you imagine as a young kid showing up in today's game and rocking the leg kick that that, boom, oh, run that wow. back for me. How many coaches are going to try and change that? How can this play, how can you have the confidence to pull that off? And how does he, like, your college coach has to buy in and let you make this move, and you better produce doing it. It's like he's pitching. It's unbelievable, Robert. But he doesn't chase. We'll get into it. Run this. So there's a lot to love about him. There's a swag about him. Like I said, coming out of college, they were on him big time. Hitting the gritty, going dead center, being in the most powerful position to deliver a blow <laughs> to the baseball <laughs> with some swag on him as well. So he talked about when he first got called up. First off, bring up the college board because this is unbelievable. Bring up that first board, Devin. Most games played in a year following the draft. Ozzie Smith, 1978, buck 59. Ryan Zimmerman, quick to the big leagues with the Nats. This is right in my pocket. Oklahoma State, Pete Incavilia. He's the first guy I ever saw hit a home run in Rosenblatt. Take his bat and smash it on the ground. It was unbelievable. And then Dave Winfield, who was a first rounder in every sport imaginable. But look at Zach Neto. He can play up to 147 games this season and potentially have the best war out of all of them. And he talked about, let's get back in with Justin Turner. He said Justin Turner changed his life. He watched him kind of reinvent himself. And he said, if he can do it, I'm willing to try it. And when he met Justin Turner for the first time on second base, he actually went over and thanked him and said, you changed my life. I know you don't know that, but by you doing the leg kick and talking about catching the ball out front, it allowed me to go. Watch how eerily similar this is. This is so hard to do. Can you run that back for me real quick and pause it? Because I just want to make this point. My whole life hitting with guys like Chipper Jones and Mike Young and Albert Pujols, this was always the steering wheel, right? Your bottom hand, it takes your bat where it needs to go and then this is the power. If you watch what Justin Turner does, I wouldn't even know how to help him get out of a slump or knock it. His bottom hand is along for the ride. He is doing everything with his top hand. It's almost like He's throwing a frisbee with his with his top hand. Run this slow. I mean, he is just throwing that bat with the top hand at the baseball. Pretty much the same thing here. Pretty awesome. 
So you mirror a guy who does things a little bit different. It works for you. You got confidence, and he has gotten hot. That's 95, top of the zone from Logan Gilbert. So if you can get to high velocity, and you're not a big chase guy, and you play elite defense, we talk about adding value on a consistent basis. You think the boys ain't falling in love with this guy? They have to be. Boom, see you later. And what I love about him as well, last night that leg kick is literally <laughs> all past, that's past waste. <laughs> but watch with two strikes. Oh. Trey Turner, a lot of guys do it, right? Eliminate movement, set that front foot down. Now I'm ready to, to explode, and I just use my hands. Bring up the last board. Look at this. Players with a zone swing percentage above 70%, so he's super aggressive in the zone, but he's not a big chaser. Mm -hmm. so he's got a nice feel for what he's doing right here. And he's 22 years old. You see all these guys, Trout, Springer, Marcus Simeon, these are grizzled vets getting it done. Bring up that side-by-side. -side. Kids at home, count leverage. I'm trying to do damage. I bought myself a count where I can get selfish and try and change the score. Two strikes, let me play a little team game. Let me put the ball in play and see what happens. Run this. I'm in on him. In college last year, Robert. Crazy. Set it down, work the ball the other way. He's just going to keep getting better, better, better. You imagine being around Shohei and Mike Trout and Renfro and all those guys eating it up.